I have five times the hearing of a normal human. The soundproof system here may as well not exist. Is that your argument? You bastard. Do you understand the situation you're in right now? D do not panic. The truth shall now commence. At the time, I left my room to go to the bathroom. By coincidence, I heard the alarm. That's right. That's all it was. The world is always so simple. Are you saying it was just a coincidence? Isn't that timing a little too perfect? And yet, I'm being suspected by all of you. It seems it was actually horrible timing on my part. I see. You're still holding out. Well, you don't have to admit it. We're going to decide who the killer is with the majority vote anyway. So, why don't we just go ahead and start voting? It's obvious that Gundam is the killer. Uh, hold on a sec. You know, Hajime, this class trial, this killing, it's merely the opening act, you know. Hey! What do you mean the class trial is just the opening act? Perhaps I should say it's just a farce. Just a boring farce. So boring, so stressful. I'm so painfully bored that I might develop stomach ulcers. Seriously. Let's just hurry up and finish this before I collapse from poor health. Nagito, something definitely happened to you. Did it? Mm -hmm. At some point during the investigation, your behavior became even weirder. What? What actually happened? Did you discover something? Well, let's just leave that fun for later. And finish this opening act already. Ah, you said opening act again! <laughs> uh, please hold on! We have yet to hear Gunnar's rebuttal! But he's completely shut up. Perhaps he can't argue anymore. Gundam! <laughs> I was simply at a loss for words after being dumbfounded by your pathetic assumption. In fact, I shall deny the very basis. Your assumption has been wrong since the beginning. Since the beginning? Based on your assumption, I hung Nekomaru from the fourth floor of the tower and made the floor descend to the first floor. From there, after returning to Strawberry House, I was present when the alarm at the lounge went off correct although going to and fro is busy enough as it is how would i be able to travel between both houses anyway i see the contact elevator was broken as i recall the killer tampered with the grape house control panel which shut down the elevator plus the stopped elevator should have been facing the grape house side if so the human who used the elevator would have left it at grape house for these reasons, it's an indisputable fact that the killer destroyed the elevator at Grape House. And what's wrong with that? If the elevator was broken at Grape House, he wouldn't be able to return to Strawberry House. However, I was already at Strawberry House. I was present when the alarm in the lounge started ringing. Which means your assumption is clearly wrong. Are you serious? And here I thought it's already been decided. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson, pitiful humans? You cannot overcome this contradiction. That's wrong. When something is obviously wrong, that's when a contradiction is born. There's no such thing as a contradiction that can't be overcome. Panic talk action. Oh, no! Okay. Uh, the surprise appearance? No. elevator was the only means of travel between the two houses as long as that elevator was broken your assumption collapses plus the elevator was broken at grape house if the killer cannot return to strawberry house since i was at strawberry house at that time there's no question that the following crime is impossible. It would have been different if they had an accomplice. Or if there was a secret passageway. How much longer do you plan to lecture me? Why don't we stop this already? Secret passageway. 
That elevator, the only means of travel, as long as that elevator, your assumption could plus the yellow broken at Grape House. If the killer cannot, since I was at there, there was no one. It would have been different if they or if there was a secret passageway. How much longer do you plan to? Why don't we stop this already? That elevator was the only means of travel between. No, that's wrong. No, there should have been another way to move between the two houses without the elevator. Such a method does not exist! Then why don't we ask the person who actually used that method? Hey, Nagito! You're the only one! Nagito, you should know. Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You appeared so suddenly that one time because you used that method, right? Uh, Nagito, why are you here? Uh, because I showed up. There's a secret passage connecting the first floor of Strawberry House to the third floor of Grape House. Isn't that right? Jeez. Once again, I let the reserve course show up. But you're right. There's a door on the floor of the Octagon. Which is on the first floor of Strawberry House. And Gundam was in the mo uh, uh, during our free time was in the Monokuma archives. So that makes a lot of sense because he would have discovered that door or could have discovered that door. After I opened the door and went down. Surprise, surprise! I ended up in the Monokuma archive. Meaning, the third floor and the fourth floor are actually connected. Plus, once Bingo. you the final dead room once, you can pass through it as many times as you want. If they use that secret passage, they could have gone between the two houses as much as they want. Infinity Unlimited Flame! However, what if the killer was unaware of the existence of the final dead room? There's no way they didn't know. That is merely an illusion you have fabricated from your own suspicion. <laughs> if you value your life, you should stop with your scrutiny. There's no way I can stop. What did you say? Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Why are we back to this? Ah, no. Even if the turbid box doesn't exist, you could travel through multiple planes, provided you use a spacious wormhole. However, how frail, frail, I say. Your decayed illusion. Shall I feed you to the progeny of vile deities? I already proved the secret passage exists. The secret passage was at the Octagon. Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the Octagon. Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown, at least pray to the key which dwells in the light! Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon. Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of blind confusion, at least pray to the key which dwells in the light! Proving the evidence that the killer went to the octagon. The wire, right? Know the limits of your own reasoning. You say the killer went to the octagon. Don't bark, you cur! If you don't want to drown in the maelstrom of... Allow me to cut through those words! Okay, I had it. I just needed to think through it a little bit. The wire used to string up Nekomaru's body. The hammer that looked like the weapon. And the chain on the door in the tower. Those are all the items that weren't in Funhouse. Where did the killer obtain them? The only place I can think of is the Octagon. 
There were various weapons and tools there. I'm pretty sure I saw stuff like wires, hammers, and chains, too. Since those items were used in the crime, there's no doubt that the killer went to the Octagon. If that's the case, they obviously know about the secret passage, too, right? <laughs> it seems this is the end. Normally, we'd end up listening to Hajime lecture us with a very long summary of the case. But there's no reason to waste any more time on this opening act. So I'm going to end this right now. Hey, what are you... First of all, by messing with all the... <laughs> Gundam tried to lure only Nekomaru. Based! Broken by that Based! Based that, Nekomaru wasn't able to go to Grape Tower. Which was supposed to be the meetup. <laughs> oh, this is so based. Strawberry Tower, just like we did when we found out the elevator was broken. Right? <laughs> obvious he'd attempt that. At that time, we didn't know the two towers were the exact same place. Also, the button in Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, so he was easily able to enter Strawberry Tower. But surprise! Gundam was waiting for Nekomaru's arrival. Oh, oh, hold on. If Nekomaru didn't go to Strawberry Tower, what would the killer have done then? Their plan was a balancing act of uncertainties. But even if they failed, they probably wouldn't have minded. They can just greet everyone the next morning as if nothing happened, and come up with a different plan. And, without such a risky plan, they wouldn't have been able to lure him at all. I'm going to continue summarizing the case, okay? Through this, Gundam successfully lured Nekomaru to Strawberry Town. <laughs> There's no way he could fight head on with the robotic Nekomaru. So by pressing the good night button, he rendered Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. Hold on. You, you, what did you just say? That I didn't battle? Hmm. What's wrong with that? Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me! I cannot ignore those words! Why are you angry all of a sudden? Yes! Okay, I'm actually, like, this is a, this is a good case for Nagito, honestly. I, I'm proud of him. I, I'm so proud of him. You fools do not understand. You don't understand at all. Ha! You make me laugh. After all this time, you still don't understand anything at all. I don't understand anything. What does that mean? It appears I cannot finish just yet. Maybe I'm just a human destined for hell. However, I cannot finish just yet. I cannot finish! There's the PCA. It's obvious I'm going to destroy your illusory assumptions. Are you saying you still have more? You still have room to argue? Your words. You said I pressed Nekomaru's goodnight button. However, that button was on the back of Nekomaru's neck. To press it, I'd have to get behind him. And you did it with your four Dark Davis of Destruction. On Coach Nekomaru. It's even more difficult if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. This wasn't. Just as I thought. Truly frail. Succumbing so easily to this simple argument, it was just a mere illusion. <laughs> if you want to set me up as the killer, at least surpass your own human limitations. That's wrong, Gundam. You're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Such a wonderful line. However, I cannot say that I'm satisfied. Listen well. I shall teach you two tips for making someone admit their defeat. First, you must crush them with your own overwhelming power. You must provide a reason that will persuade that human. You have not fulfilled either of those yet. I guess you really don't want to admit it. Then, just as you requested, I will provide an argument that will leave you no choice but to be persuaded. Panic talk action! Okay. I won't let you! Empire. Crush that David prophesies. 
I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush that David prophesies. For the Tanaka Empire. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush that David prophesies. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush that David prophesies. Show me the cadaver. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush that David prophesies. I won't let you. For the Tanaka Empire. Wither. Crush that David prophesies. It's Nekobaru's back. Do you really think I can get behind him so easily? This is the end. BAM! I even got the fucking saying right. By Gundam, Slam Dog. You should have been able to press the button on the back of his neck. As long as you have the power of the hamsters you keep with you. Oh? Are you seriously saying he used his hamsters to press the button on the back of Nekomaru's neck? Of course that'd be impossible for a normal hamster. But it would have been possible for Gundam. In fact, we saw that with our very own eyes. Right? A mercenary of evils, in accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Pierce through the supernova silver fox, said D. Ah, it pressed the button. Truly, this is the skyline levitation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> as soon as the door of the destiny shall open. Now that you mention it. After Ibuki was killed in the music venue, one of Gundam's hamsters retrieved the piece of wallpaper from the baton lighting, right? Hey, with your friends and their exceptionally smart brains, it must have been possible to secretly get one of them behind Mechamaru and press the button on the back of his neck. How about it, Gundam? <laughs> Not just myself, but you actually brought up how splendid my subordinates are. <sighs> I have no recourse but to admit it. Admit it? Did you say you admit it? It appears I've obtained a one-way ticket to hell. Fine! Then you must trample me underfoot and advance. Victory can only be built upon a foundation of corpses. You cannot find peace without sacrifice anywhere. Now, trample this life. Trample it as though it were mere trash on the side of the road. Pull the curtain strings of this worthless performance with your own two hands. Oh, okay, so I still get to do this. I thought, I thought, I actually kind of, it would have been funny if we weren't able to do this. Just, it just because, it just would have been hilarious. But we do get to do this still. Not a problem, it just was funny. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Whoa. I'm not used to messing up this hard to close arguments. Oh, the door is the door not coming off. What? Oh. There it is. We already have that one. Oh, 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 oh. That's gotta be part of that, okay. Final stock. Let's first. 
first go over the many tricks the killer prepared before they committed the crime. First, they destroyed the contact elevator. This separated Nagito and the others in Strawberry House from our group in Grape House. Next, they lured Nekomaru out by himself by turning back all the clocks in the Fun House by two hours. Additionally, in order to secure an alibi, the killer went to the Strawberry House Lounge and set the wall clock's alarm to 5.30 a.m. After finishing their preparations, the killer went to Strawberry Tower with the necessary tools and gun. They obtained these tools from the Octagon, which you can enter once you clear the final depth. This means the killer discovered the secret of the Fun House faster than anybody else. That secret being Strawberry House and Grape House are actually the same building. On the morning of the incident, Nekomaru woke up and headed over to Great Tower for a specific reason. There, Fuyuhiko, who was at the lounge by coincidence, witnessed Nekomaru. According to Fuyuhiko's testimony, that was around 5 a.m., but by that point, the killer had already messed with our perception of time. In actuality, Uyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 7 a.m. That's also the same time Monokuma Taichi began. Nekomaru went to Great Tower to participate in that. However, because the contact elevator was broken, Nekomaru was unable to go to Great Tower. So he decided to try going to Strawberry Tower. But the killer was waiting for him there. With the power of hamsters, they were able to press the good night button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. This forced him to enter sleep mode, rendering him immobile. From there, the killer began preparing to use the ultimate weapon. First, they set the alarm in Nekomaru's chest to 7.30 a.m. so he'd wake up. Then they tied him up with a metal wire, tied the tip of the wire into a loop, and hung it on the doorknob. After leaving Strawberry Tower, the killer then destroyed the door button to Strawberry Hall. They did this to keep us from entering Strawberry Tower, and to keep us from discovering the secret of the building structure that they used to kill Nekomar. Then, they used the secret octagon passageway to travel to Grape House. After arriving at Grape Hall, they pressed the button to open the door to the tower. When that happened, the elevator-like floor of the tower began descending. And Nekomaru's body was still inside, dangling upside down in mid-air from the wire. The killer entered Grape Tower to see if their setup was successful. placed a hammer on the floor to look like the weapon, then wrapped a chain around the back door. This was done to make us falsely believe we couldn't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. With this, the killer finished their setup and tried to go back to their room using the secret passage, so they could craft their alibi when Nekomaru died from the fall. But something unexpected happened. Fuyuhiko, who saw Nekomaru earlier, was still at the lounge. As a result, the killer couldn't return to their room, and with no options available, time ran out. The lounge's wall clock alarm started ringing at 5.30. Well, actually 7.30. To avoid a worst-case scenario, the killer was forced to appear in front of Fuyuhiko with the others. When the wall clock's alarm rang, that was also the same time Nekomaru was waking up. He woke up while he was still hanging upside down, so he couldn't help but sway his body powerfully. Originally, the loop of wire was only supposed to slip off the doorknob. But because there was a heavier load than expected, the doorknob ended up breaking. Nekomaru fell from the fourth floor all the way to the first floor. 
He crashed into the pillar, which decapitated him on impact, and died. The sound of Nekomaru's impact echoed throughout the funhouse. However, by this point, the killer's plan was about to fail, thanks to the broken doorknob and Fuyuhiko. Meaning, the killer is someone who wouldn't have heard the alarm if they were in the deluxe room. They also wouldn't have been able to return to their guest room, because Fuyuhiko was at the lounge. That someone is Gundam Tanaka. I can't think of anyone else but you. And kill you myself! I cannot believe it. I just cannot believe you. You killed Nekomaru? I cannot believe something like that. You don't wish to forgive me, do you? Feel regret? Then finish it. Cast your impure votes for Gundam Tanaka. My beloved, deadly foes. Let the voting time begin. That's actually shocking to me that he's the one that did that. Hmm, this result isn't all that exciting. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one. Please pull the lever. Crap! I bit my tongue. <laughs> oh no, Monokuma! <laughs> Don't do that. I bit my tongue so bad again. I'll, I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys were correct once again. Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. That's right. The one who killed the robotic Nikomaru in the amazing funhouse was Gundam Tanaka. Yay! I said it all without biting my tongue. Now then. Now that we've decided who the killer is, Let's do the execution already and get it over with. Hold on. Is it true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean that the incident is over? We can't finish yet until we hear it from Gundam. Jeez. No matter what he says, it won't change a thing. Well, I have no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Why do you have to talk to the one who lost? The loser merely leaves. It would be just necessary for me to say something. Well. Is it what I would say, but for an honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct. You guys said I made Nekomaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Nekomaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. Lost and died. If he was just true trying to cling to life there are many ways he could have done so however he did not allow that you. what do you mean explain <laughs> fine then i shall reveal it all within the final dead room i discovered a secret to the fun house and i devised a killing plan utilizing that secret by tampering with all the clocks in the building i succeeded by luring nekomaru into the tower and this is what happened Nekomaru and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Hmm. I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed and my subtle intent, killing intent, and instantly understood the situation. And he was 
we had ourselves to stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away, or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose to fight and risk that... And he chose a fight that risked life and death. A fight that risked life and death. Let me tell he you. was so serious too. He gave it his all to try and kill me. If I had died instead, the mystery surrounding the case would have been even more complicated. You would never know why I was the victim. Went to the tower by myself. I can see it. Nobody would have known that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Akamaru really did that? Sensing even my subtle killing intent. As expected of you, Nekomaru. The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm. That's a great one. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I need not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire. That is. But why? Why did you fight? We're all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agree, it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. However, I must say this. What's the point in living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You There's nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment. A mere feeling of resignation. Wait, are you telling us just to wait here and starve to death? I'd rather... I, I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Oh, Ever since we locked, were locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by the feelings of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is simply just a reason to give up. Flinch, Giving up on life. That's just an insult to life itself. Have you fools heard of the term dog-eat-dog? Dog? Um, Cannibalism? In zoology, cannibalism is the commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their life have a span engage in cannibalism. Listen, that is what it means to live. If you say killing for the sake of living is evil, then what would you call giving up on life instead? If a word, world would consider that justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but blasphemy towards life. It is a violation of a natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You. Are you saying you did all this just to justify what you did? But, uh, but it sounds like Nekamaru felt the same too. That's why he fought, right? Damn it. Ugh. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to our battle. Regardless, as if I have already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. And but even so, don't you think it's better alternative than slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. You... Hey, what about you the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Unlike Nagito, I only did it once, but <laughs> Huh. Compared to my battle with Nekamaru, that was a mere child's play. Well, You know, 
After listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted to your crime without resistance. Gundam, don't tell me you didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> mm, I can't believe you would ask us a foolish question. Just who do you think I am? My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way that I would sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Not in a million, not in a billion, and not in ten billion years. In the name of pandemonium, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time to start to get the fun started. Monokuma, let us begin. Yay! Got it! I have prepared a special punishment for the ultimate breeder, Gundam Tanaka. This is too much! Please, Monokuma, please help Gundam. Miss Sonia. Sonia, an act as unrefined as stopping a man from going to his death does not befit a noble person such as yourself. Good Gundam. Hmm. Ah, it's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However, what is it, my four dark devas of destruction? Are you worried about me? Oh, my feared four dark devas of destruction. That is not like you at all. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing, let us laugh uproariously! <laughs> that is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! So not only did one of my S tiers die this chapter, two of them did. Great, we're here for it. <laughs> Kazuichi's the hero of this game. Oh god. Gun of Tanaka, Stampede, Ultimate Breeder. Gun, gun down. No, no. Even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his partnering, parting words still linger deep in our chests. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then, what's the right thing to do? I don't, I don't know. No matter how much I think about it, I don't know if I'll be able to answer that. I am so pissed off and throw something. Damn it. You all spent so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things ended up the way it is. You are all full of shit, every last one of you. 
The biggest pieces of shit is me. But the biggest piece of shit is me. Damn it. Why am I so weak? Oh. It's such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we felt this way, we still gotta do our, our very best. You right. You're right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live and believe in our friends. If not, you are right. Gundam will most likely crawl his way out of hell, and I presume he'll be very cross with us. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't just stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have a died in vain. We cannot allow that. Hey, hey. How long are you guys going to stand around and chattering? This class trial is over, so it's okay to hurry back to Jabwalk Island. <laughs> However, the killing school drip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Wait. Hold on! How much longer are you going to keep doing this? Seriously, how much longer is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Now then. <laughs> All right, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry and eat some food. Hey, hey. Hold on a second, that mood shift is too damn fast. Like well, you know, it's like Gundam and Nekamaru said. That's what it means to live, right? Huh. <laughs> She's clear to something else. <laughs> but seriously, I'm starving. Hey, hey. Then let's go back and, and for now and eat. And then, after we are full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then, let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. With this, the class trial has come to an end. And once again, we have returned to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group is definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our very best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. But at that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming above us, or before us. However, only one thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. <laughs> yep, I'm definitely unlucky. Never expected to obtain such, so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy, and before everyone else too. But it's just so funny, I mean, no one could tell that I was lying. There's no way that I, the file had just high maze information on it. Well, oh, I guess they were too busy with other matters. Or maybe they reached their limit. Uh, regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. Uh, anyway, I can't forgive this. Yeah. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Even if it costs me my life. It's obvious. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Alright, Monica has arrived! Who summoned me? Thank you for coming. What's this? Why, it's a lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's the matter? So what's up? Your face looks really scary. Oh, I see. So you can tell. Hmm? Ah, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. <laughs> oh, you know me well. Wow. Is what I'd like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. Ah, hmm. oh, I see. So even if you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. Uh, so why'd you summon me anyway? Uh, were you going to finally confess your love? I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? Oh yeah, what about it? There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? What's weird? Don't even know. Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person, the total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But the file contained documents that were created at Hope Speak Academy, right? 
That's right. I reused the stuff from the former headmaster that spent a lot of time making. If the file contains information about the traitor, was that person also a former student of Hogs Peak Academy? Who knows? Pff, I wonder. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip the false information into that file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? It's my job to heat things up, and it's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well, uh, that's not my point. Right? My point is, you already know who the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? Right well, now. you're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? Hmm. Just like Monami, after losing her magic stick, the traitor's existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no. Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Shing. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through all this awful stuff. Hmm, that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came here to offer my cooperation, you know? Huh? Cooperation? Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? That's why you're intentionally letting the traitor do as they please, right? Yep. Yep, yep! I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat, too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Mm. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. No, no, no. Obviously, that's a big no. I mean, I want to make sure everyone in your group feel despair, and that includes you, too. Well, I knew you would say that. Hmm. Besides, it would just I wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought. You saw right through me. You're right. No matter what situation I find myself in, my core of way of thinking will never change. But in order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, stepladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> You're right. You're a true believer of hope, after all. I must say, that belief, it reminds me of that person for some reason. Huh? Reminds you. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, but... If someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, they must be extremely unlucky. Lie. Uh, but you're just unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Whoa. Am I? I actually think I'm very lucky. Say what? Huh? You don't know. Wouldn't you say that coming across some this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? Uh, I can't rely on this island. And that's why I have a one who does it, or I'm the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from the island, I won't be the stepladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could be called ultimate hope. <laughs> you two are alike. You definitely remind me of him. Hey there. There's one more thing that I wanted to ask you. See? Who are you waiting for on this island? <laughs> oh, looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on this island? Hey. Well, answer my question. <laughs> if, if that's the case, if that person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? Eleven days, or five days, eleven hours, thirteen minutes. Ooh, wow. Lots of time has passed between the two chapters. Do Ultimate Robots Dream of Clockwork end? Crazy that there's six other students. Only six other than um, my own character. That's insane. But... 
in the last in the next episode of Dokupon. That's not Dokupon. What the fuck? In the last episode. Oh my god! In the last episode too. Wow! I double fucked it up. <laughs> in the next episode of Dangan Ropa Two: Goodbye Despair, we'll be entering Chapter Five and seeing what comes with it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.